Hey everyone, this is Tony Switches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to password protect your website that's running on an Nginx web server with something called basic authentication. This is basic HTTP authentication, and don't don't let the fact that it's called basic authentication um, undermine the fact that it's a sophisticated way to either password protect a, uh, a subdirectory of your website or your entire website. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at how you can do that. I have a website running on an Nginx server here at this IP address and just for demonstration purposes I've created a, a, a subdirectory here and I, I link to that subdirectory uh, with this admins only link here. This page should be for admins only. By the end of this video I want to be able to password protect this entire subdirectory with um, credentials that known credentials that only uh, people with those credentials can access this part of the website. So uh, like I said we can do that with basic authentication um, and let's take a look at how we can do that. So we're going to log into our web server, the same IP address uh, via SSH. And on here, uh, because this is an Nginx, uh, we need to add one additional uh, way to uh, create our credentials. And that it, don't let this confuse you. We're going to install something uh, with apt install called Apache to utils. Okay. And you know, Nginx is a different web server than Apache. This isn't actually installing Apache on our web server. This is just some utilities that we can use to manage and create our credentials. So specifically, that is going to be, uh, I'm going to use my cheat sheet over here, the HT password command, which is HTPASSWD and um, dash C for create and the directory that we want to create basically a password database, a username password database. It's this hidden file that we're going to put in the etc nginx directory. And then after that, you can type in the user that you want to create. So uh, for this example, we'll just do Tony. That's the username. And then it's asking us to associate a password with Tony. So we'll do teaches tech and then teaches tech. Okay, so now um, just to confirm that that actually happened, let's look at the etc nginx.ht password file. And we just see our username separated by a colon and then what seemingly a hashed password, not the plain text password, but uh, a variation of our password that is not visible to the human eye. So, um, and you can do this as many times as you want. You can create as many usernames and passwords as you want and apply this to the basic authentication. Okay, so we have our credentials. Let's go ahead and apply those credentials to Nginx. So let's edit our configuration file. I'm gonna use a Vim text editor, which is uh, an etc Nginx sites available. And in here, I'm just using the default configuration file. And this is a very basic uh, Nginx, um, a very basic Nginx configuration file. So uh, what we're going to do is paste in some configuration options here. And by the way, I'll have all of these uh, these code snippets down in the description below. So you can copy and paste them instead of typing them from the screen. All right, so let's walk through this. We have a location block that we have added. And this location block is applying to the subdirectory admin, OK, just like we saw previously in the web browser. So anything in here, we're just doing a simple try files. We're going to try to load the, the HTML files that are under here. And we have two lines, auth basic admin area. This can be pretty much anything you want to associate with this, a string that you want to associate with, associate with this admin area or whatever area that is on your website. And then the basic, the auth basic user file, which is that uh, password file that we just created. So Let's go ahead and save that. And we'll restart the Nginx server with system CTL restart Nginx. And those changes have been applied. So let's go back to our website and test this out. So we'll just for good measure refresh the home page. This is still accessible by anybody. This is a public web page. Anybody can go to this. Uh, but let's go ahead and try to go to the admins only area. And now instead of seeing the content of the page, it's requesting us to enter credentials, a username and a password. So we can enter the username and the password that we just created. So Tony, and then uh, I put the password teaches tech. And because I have properly authenticated, I can see the content of this page. And this session will work for um, 
I mean, this the fact that I've authenticated will be uh, applicable for the entire duration of my session. So if I try to go back to that web page, I won't have to re-authenticate. I can just go there and uh, keep using the website as normal because I'm authenticated. Um, but if I go to like a new web browser window and I try to go, you know, directly to that uh, slash admin directory, I'm going to be prompted for those uh, credentials again. And if I try to, you know, hack my way in here, it's not going to let me in because I'm not giving it the proper credentials. So um, that is basically a good overview of how to work with Auth Basic, you know, basic authentication on an Nginx web server. This can be applied to the entire website or um, like we did in this tutorial, just a subsection, a subdirectory of the website. So uh, definitely very flexible. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you guys for watching this video. I got plenty of other ones on Nginx and Apache as well. So check those out. Thank you guys. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.